Kids are heartbroken, stuck with untrained dogs, and left with empty pockets. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Marius Payton. Since CBS 17 broke the story a month ago, more and more families and former employees are coming forward to share their experience with Apex nonprofit Rikon Service Dogs. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy was the first local reporter on this story. She's digging deeper, talking with the Raleigh family who hasn't given up on their Rikon dog yet. 12 year old Caitlin Ranheim is holding on to hope that with more training, love, and attention, her dog Boone could become the service dog she always dreamed of. I have always been that person that loves independence because that's just kind of who I am. And I just saw these service dogs change lives of kids, and I wanted that. Caitlin has cerebral palsy. Good boy. So she struggles with stability and balance. Her family raised more than $14,000 to get her a service dog from Rikon. All my friends were super excited, and so many people helped us, and we didn't get the dog we wanted. The family believes owner Mark Mathis purposely took advantage of them. I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt for a really long time, but now I absolutely believe. It was just a con all along. The family says they went home with a completely untrained dog. Can you sit? Sit. And instead of helping Caitlin balance, the dog knocked her over. Not only did he take advantage of my family and other families, but he took a part of so many kids. And like, they're never going to get that back. And I don't think I'm going to get that back unless I get the dog I wanted. The Ranheim family says they have now spent the past several months retraining Boone. But going forward, I mean, it's $110 an hour for a consultation. So we're looking at quite a bit more money. Caitlin's mother, Deanna, says at first she didn't think Boone could ever be a service dog. He's but he's making some progress. Down. Go ahead. Um, but he still pulls us. You know, we still have a lot of training to do. The family says they were hesitant to tell their story, but they want Mathis to be held accountable for the pain he's caused so many people. We are not in support of Mark. And when Caitlin's picture was shown on another news panel with a headline that said we were kind of supporting it, we got pretty upset because we do not support him at all. We don't support anything he did. And so we really want our story to be told truthfully. Kelly Kennedy, CBS 17 News.